and it's a whole new goal for the Jacksonville Armada. And we bring in a couple of the key standout players from this year's roster to talk about the upcoming year with the home opener coming up on Sunday afternoon right here at Bishop Kenny High School in Jacksonville. Jed Bowman, Eduardo Cornbra, good enough to join me here on the show tonight. And let's start by talking about what it means to follow up last year's campaign and get back out there and, and try to maybe take it a step further, Jed, in this year's campaign as we go. It's always to, always good to get back and see the boys. We have a lot of returners, probably 15 to 20, and it's just nice being fresh and starting a new season, and we have a lot of targets that we hope to meet this season. Yeah, and for guys like Eduardo, it is so great to be back on the field because uh, you got injured last year, so you weren't there for that big stretch run down the end of the year. How cool is it for you to be back on the field, playing again, and being back out there with your teammates, which I'm sure you wanted to do all of last year? Oh, yeah, I'm so excited to be back, really happy. Uh, I was out for 11 months, and last weekend was my first game back, and it's really good to be with the boys, like he said, and I'm excited. Big things waiting for us. Jed, we, we look at this year's roster and a lot of the guys are back from last year, which pretty much means you have to have these high expectations because of that continuity and all these guys who learned a year ago what it takes to get to that level and now you got to do it again. Is that harder to, to kind of do it again, whereas last year was kind of a little bit of the unknown? Um, I mean, they said it right from day one, their expectations for the season and we have high standards as players as well. So. Um, that combination is is really really good because when you put it both together there'll be a, uh, a very good result at the end I'm sure. So the guy leading these players and the rest of the roster is of course Tommy Krasanovich back for another year the former Armada player from right here in Jacksonville has played all his soccer here locally. Eduardo what's it like playing for that guy? Tell, tell me a little bit about coach and the relationship you guys have with him out there uh, on the practice field and then the, the game field as well. Uh, Coach Tommy is a role model for all of us, uh, especially knowing that he played for the same team that we play, we represent now. It's a big thing for all of us, and as a coach, he's amazing, and off the field, he's even better. So that's what gives us the results, I would say. Jed, I'm going to put you on the spot. You got a good Tommy K story. Can you, can you relate anything that makes you think, like, okay, that, that's our head coach right there? Um, God, that's... A really difficult question. Maybe Eddie can, can help me out. But the away trip's always a good time. He always lets us, um, you know, get loose after a game. And he's just a very, um, he's an inspiration to, you know, the city. And you guys all know him for, have known him for a long time. So, you know, he's a, he's a top guy. Yeah, w without a doubt. Uh, and, you know, he's part of something more here locally. I know we, we talk about the Armada a lot, but also involved with Jacksonville FC. And, and, Jed, that's something you've been a little more involved with lately as well, getting to coach some of the younger lads and help along the future of this game. Uh, quickly, what, what do you think about that part of your life right now where, you know, yes, you're still playing and playing at a high level, but you're also very much involved with helping this next level and these young kids play and, and move forward? Absolutely. I tell my kids all the time that in five or six years they could be playing with us even you know they're only 11 years of age but um, youth development and the progression is so fast at that age so when they're 16 17 and I'm a bit older I'll be um, excited to see what talents coming through and the future is really really bright for the club and Wardo, you see it going on as well in this community, just these, these young guys working their way through the system. I mean, shoot, guys like Tyler Richardson on the roster this year are guys who've watched this Armada team play as they've grown up. But for you to be part of the Armada, part of this community, what does that mean to you? Uh, um, it's amazing. Uh, it's also good to see the Section 904 supporting. I think that gives us a lot of help as well because the kids are also watching and they like the environment. So that gives uh, them energy to, I want to be in that spot as well. Absolutely. Well, we mentioned, of course, the home opener coming up on Sunday. We take a look at some upcoming matchups here for the Jacksonville Armada. And it's important to note that the first two home games of the season are going to be at 
Bishop Kenny High School, of course, that first one coming up tomorrow on Sunday. That's a 2 p.m. game against Southern States SC. They'll also have a home game coming up on May 20th. That one also at Bishop Kenny. Then after that, you guys head back over to UNF and play at Hodges Stadium the rest of the year. The Jed and Ed Show. Great job, guys. Appreciate you guys coming on. Jed Bowman and Eduardo Cornbro. Thank you so much. Sure, thank thank you. you for having us. Action Sports Jacks Primetime, Saturday at 1030 on Fox 30.